for us followers today we're going to be making a cute little air plant holder um made out of a rock and wire so of course i went and grabbed a bag of river rock so i grabbed two here that are nice and flat at the bottom i have a chasing hammer and then i do have just some basic um beading pliers and cutters um, I am going to be using this 12 gauge wire here, um, but no, you can use an 18, it will work just as well. I just wanted to make sure I had something that you guys could really see against these rocks here. And then I am going to show you um, a quick and easy way to tie these off or um, another way that's going to be a little bit more intricate. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am just gonna put my rock right in the center, fold my wires up, and then I make a 90 degree angle with the wire so that I can wrap this end as tight as I can. If you have a hard time getting it tight, you can easily use your pliers. Get that first initial wrap. And then I like to go about three times around the one that the wire that's bent up straight at 90 degree angle. And then I just snip off that excess wire. And then you want to go ahead and just Fold that cut in, in in a little bit, you, just so that you're not getting caught on it um, or it's not catching on your air plant. And then if you don't like the gap here, a really good trick is just to take your pliers and squeeze nice and tight together and it'll bring everything as close as it can. As you can see, this is still pretty loose and wobbly here, but we're going to go ahead and fix that. So we're going to take this back side and taking that chasing hammer, we're going to flatten the wire first. When doing this, just be really careful of your fingers. You don't want to see anybody hitting their hands or fingers on this. Okay. See, this is also another reason I really like a thicker wire. So an 18 gauge would work nicely is it just looks really nice to have something a little bit wider that you can see on your rock. So now I'm going to come in here with hot glue, believe it or not. So we are just going to make a line on each side of this wire. Gonna kind of spread that out a little bit. And so this is gonna prevent the wire from moving around, okay? Also, it will help from letting the wire, if you're to set this on a table, um, from scratching your table at all. Um, if you really want to, you could put a little dab at the top, but you should be okay with just doing it on the back side. We're gonna go ahead and let that cool really quick. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over. And see, it just wiggles a little bit on the top. I'm okay with that. Um, it's not, the air plant shouldn't be that heavy. So there's a couple ways you can do this little loop you do is you could wrap it around your finger. If you have a mandrel, you could take a mandrel and just wrap it right around the mandrel. Or um, if you have a, um, let's see, a Sharpie or a um, highlighter, that will work as well. So it just kind of helps get that basic swirl. And then from there, you can kind of tighten it up if it needs to be tightened, or you can kind of loosen it up, bring it out a little bit more. All 
I like how that looks. I think that will fit my little air plant here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have my wire here cut so it's a flush side so I won't snag myself on it. And let's see, we're gonna see how my air plant just sits right in there. Now, if this was too big, I could tighten it and now my air plant doesn't fall out at all. I could also tighten up that other row just a tad and squeeze it on in. Super easy, you guys. Now, let me show you how to wrap this without hot glue so your wire won't be moving on you. So again, I'm gonna grab probably more wire than I need. It looks about 24 inches. We're gonna go ahead and start on the top with this wire. So I'm just gonna go under. We're gonna take it right under here. And then like a present, and if you're taking ribbon, you're just gonna make two 90 degree angles. And then we'll come up and over the rock. Um, if you have anything that has any like little nooks that it can go on, you can push the wire over that. That will help a lot. And I didn't need to have my wire centered here because I'm gonna have a lot of access that I'm actually cutting off. So I'm gonna take one of these ends, again, bend it at that 90 degree angle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap three times around the base here. And I'm a little bit loose, so I'm gonna tighten up my wires here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. And then I'll fold it onto the Fold it and tuck it into your wire that's sitting, standing straight up. So here, if your wires aren't fitting on the rock as snug as you want, you might be able to maneuver your wires just a little bit, but this should not be coming off. It's pretty nice and snug. And we're still gonna do the same thing on that backside because I want this to be a flat surface for my rocks to lay. Just taking that chasing hammer. Again, watching my fingers. I don't want to hit my fingers. So it's going to create that wire to be a little bit less abrupt. And it should sit a little bit more flat. See, it's a little bit less wobbly. Okay, you guys, this time I'm not going to go ahead and use my mandrel. So I'm gonna try to use my finger just to start that first initial circle. And then I just kinda maneuver the wire with my hands. not going to be as formed as my other circles using a mandrel or again like a highlighter. It's going to be a little bit more organic. But you don't need to necessarily have a highlighter or anything. You can still make your fingers work just fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and snip just a little bit of that end off so I have a flat edge. Do you have to make this just a little bit wider so my air plant can fit in here? And let's see. And look how fun that is. So that one's got a little bit more loop. Again, I didn't use my mandrel. I tried to use my finger on this one. Circles are a little bit more organic. They're not going to be quite as formed and smooth as my last one. And again, this one doesn't have any hot glue. 
So it's just wrapped all the way around the rock, kind of like a present. You still take that hammer and chase it on the backside to make sure you have a flat surface. But aren't these, I'm gonna just show these off. These are so cute, so simple. Um, again, this one is just wrapped once, hot glue on the back, and you're good to go. I like this hot glue personally just because it's not going to scratch whatever surface I'm laying it down. This one you want to make sure you're a little careful because that wire could end up kind of scratching some more sensitive surfaces. But all right, you guys, thank you for joining me and ha happy crafting. Yay.